Hey guys, this is Michiko and welcome back to Hexa Hysteria where we are going to be playing Gravitizer by uh, Citrus, by Citrus, I guess, because I'm still not sure about the pronunciations. We're going to be playing the Hexa difficulty level 14, the first for me. And if you've seen this video quite early on, that means you've watched uh, one of my episodes for Michiko's Progress of Christmas. Wow, that's an instant loss for... I know my difficulties. Uh, well, I think my grades, I guess. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what the hell is happening to Rex? Yeah, this is where all their charting friend goes to. understand what you're supposed to do. Okay, with the swingy notes. I got a hard start. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I know the fact that the tracks have beat line. But I'm not used to this beat. Whoa. Okay. So the same as the hard chart. <laughs> Six keys. What the hell is this? I thought the six key part was gonna be like uh over at it, but no. This is a completely Shape. Oh, look at that. And now it's wrapping that to the wall. Not even 900, holy shoot, this thing is tricky as hell. It's probably because of my scroll speed because I've been watching some Hexa Hysteria gameplay on YouTube, especially from uh, one of the chargers of the game, JMac, and he's playing on a much faster speed than what I am playing right now, which is 7.5. But my goodness, that was <laughs> Whoa! So this is what it feels like to just go into a brand new difficulty heads on without knowing that well of the game's mechanics. But then again, the game's mechanics are kind of straightforward, and because of how flexible and how dynamic the uh, six tracks are, they like back then before knowing that this hexa difficulty do exist they definitely had to nerf the charting a little bit but knowing that this is what the uh, the team behind wise eye studio uh, has to offer for us it's quite uh, well it's all up into our minds uh, about how far could they stretch this kind of gameplay how far can they go with this kind of the lanes manipulation, the charting as well, and the potential references to other rating games. Like, come on, we've almost seen them referencing over Rapid over there with its six key lanes just laid about like this. Like, oh my god, just imagine what this game would do for April Fool's 2023. Like, oh my god, okay. Well, let's just, uh, let's not hop into that hype train too quick. Uh, let me just try and bring myself down to the ground and experience the game as it should be instead of just jumping into these higher difficulties. And I'll be ending off the video right here. Wow, 32 misses. That's, that's not good at all. That's pretty much it for the video, and as always, 
Thanks for watching.